Hello, everybody! My name is Serena, love zebras, and this is the next episode of our Minecraft Feed the Beast Revelation playthrough, and we are having so much fun, we're getting so much stuff done, and I don't remember what any of that stuff was. Um, I managed to get us back, uh, here, we've got a little bit of lag. Uh, I managed to get us back to our home base, um when we went exploring, doing some stuff. And I moved some stuff, the ores that need to be processed in some way or another into next to this melt tree, just for easy access. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of copper in there. And were there things? No, I put it away. Okay. So, what we're gonna do next, we still need to get rock crystals. I'm still not sure if rock crystals spawn in the mining dimension. However, I'm gonna put that to the side for now, because what I want to do is I want to get leadstone flux ducts and our energy cell so that we can set up a windmill and we can get a flux bore going for ease of access for mining. I think that is going to be the main goal for today's video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bit of iron and some sticks if they exist. Just make a few. And then I'm going to go ahead and make some more torches. Yes, I know that that's a lot of torches. <laughs> we're gonna put these in here for now. And we're gonna go ahead and hop on over to the mining dimension, make sure my backpack's empty. Hop on over to the mining dimension and we're gonna mine there from now on, um, just because there isn't, uh, there aren't mobs. Mobs don't spawn unless there's a spawner. Um, and I think that that's really nice, safe, and helpful, and it's honestly just a really dope place. I'm a fan. But uh, once we get... There it goes. <laughs> once we get our um, power generation started up, we can get into some RF tools and start a quarry using the builder from RF tools and things will be fine and dandy and i'm all excited about it i think i think that there's a ravine over here so we're gonna go over there and we'll we'll start up over here what we need to get for leadstone flux ducts is lead and redstone and glass but we won't really there isn't going to be a lot of sand down here if if any at all so we're going to go ahead and dig oh cool dig our way down So this ravine obviously continues on in that direction. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. But that's okay. Yeah, this actually isn't much of a ravine. We were all right. 
Now it totally ends right here. Boo! How thoroughly disappointing. We'll just go ahead and grab the stuff that's down here and go and find a mine that actually has stuff in it. I mean, we're gonna need lots of iron and copper and coal as time goes on so it's not a huge issue for me that we're getting it right now but it's probably not that exciting to watch so we're gonna go ahead and do a time lapse and i will go ahead and mine until these pickaxes are broken and i will meet you back at the house unless something exciting happens <laughs> Okay, so I was trying to avoid it for the time being, but we're just going to go ahead and grab the Thomcraft crystals um, and have our, our strange dreams the next time that we sleep. Back to time lapse. Okay, all of those caves were trash and didn't go low enough to get any lead. Um, we got a decent amount of resources, just not the resources that I was hoping for. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back home and we're going to continue the strip mine that we have there. 
uh, until we get enough lead. Well, actually, let's take a look and see how much lead we need to actually get going. Because we might actually, we might have it. We might not, but we might. And if we do, then we'll get that started and we'll make a flux bore. Okay. We have two pieces of lead ore. Yeah, I super don't think that that's enough. Um, like, at all. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these ingots out. And then we can get some lead and figure out exactly how much we need for what we're doing. Because I don't know how much we have smelted already. I don't think it's a lot. I, I really don't think it's a lot. Um, but I'm at least going to get these uh, lead ingots cooked up. There we go. Grab those. We'll just turn that off for now. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have 12 pieces of lead. Not a lot of lead. We have 30 pieces of glass. Not a whole lot of glass. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, there's a piece of glass in there. Hiding. I'm going to go ahead and smelt this sand into glass. What did we have already? So we have the kinetic dynamo. We have the windmill. We do not have the energy cell. We have these. I'm going to need to make a, them again because we're going to need more than one. Um, but to make this, we need glass, four lead, and some iron. Let's go ahead and make what we can. Um, the time being. And then we need, oh right, we needed electrum. And electrum is uh, silver and gold. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. So we gotta go make electrum. I know we have gold in the smell tree already, so that's not gonna be an issue. We just need to put some silver in there. And we only need one piece. So I'll just put the five silver that we have already, and then that should make us more than enough electrum for the time being. Electrum. Go ahead and turn this on. Like I said, I only need the one piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back up. We need to grab the redstone. To make the redstone con conductance coil. You need a block of redstone and two lead. And there's the energy cell. Then we're going to need a few leadstone flux ducts, which uh, is lead, glass, and redstone. So ultimately, we have enough to get started. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our windmill and our kinetic dynamo. And I'm gonna do a very basic setup 
uh, for our power generation. Like, extra basic. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here for the time being. So I'm going to plop the energy cell down, input on the top. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that. That we can do, though. I'm going to build this all the way up. Us jumping down honestly might kill us, but that's fine. Our spawn is a solid spot. Then we want to put the kinetic dynamo down. Come on. Oh my goodness, it doesn't want to play on. You gonna play me like this game? Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't want to do it. We're gonna have to put a block up here and I don't have any. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It didn't actually kill us. That's kind of a surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a stack of cobble. For the sake of building them. And then I'm going to build up. That down. And then I'm going to place the windmill. And then it should start turning. Yes, and we're making power! It's not a lot of power. Not a lot of power at all. But it is power. And that is a great starting point. I'm going to go ahead and configure everything except for the top to be export. We're going to see what we need to make the first flux board. Okay. To make the basic flux bore, we need tin, silver, iron, gold, and redstone. So I grab the gold, the redstone, the iron. I have a little bit of tin. So we want to make the tool casing. We want to make the drill head, which is one piece of copper as well. We want an iron gear. And then we need two pieces of silver, which I do not have. So we're going to have to go grab that. And hopefully it didn't all mix with the gold to make Electrum. I have a feeling that it did, though. Which means we're going to have to go grab some more. Yeah, it did. So we're going to have to go mining. We're going to need lead. We're going to need silver. Luckily, those two things are found together. So we are going to put all of this away. I'm just going to throw these down here because we know that we need them. And then I'm going to make another couple uh, pickaxes. Grab some more of these blueberries. Just to make sure we have enough food while we're down in the mines. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down to Y. Hmm. Do I have one at 20? I probably do. We'll take a look and see where we have our strip mines already. I'm going to put these up here, though. We've got one at 40. I guess we could do this one at 17. What's this one? 12? 10. 
It's not bad, but we don't need to be that low. So we'll do, we'll do this one at 17. So I'm going to go ahead and start this strip mine and hopefully find a little bit of lead and silver and again, go into, um, time-lapse mode. Okay, so we're getting some silver. How much did we need? I don't even remember. We needed two. Two's not a lot. I'm just going to grab the four and turn this off, and we'll head back up there. There's a bunch of skeletons up here, so we'll have to watch out for that. Yes, yes, shoot at me. Ow. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Need that. Not sure what to do with all that right now. Grab these. A plant, that's a plant. Sure. And then... Okay, it's just gonna die. We're gonna go ahead and make a flux bore. So that's the most basic one. The next one, uh, the upgrade is with Invar and Copper, which are two things that we have. So we make an Invar gear, and then make a hardened flux bore. The next one is with Electrum and Diamonds. So we're going to hold off on that for just a little bit because we don't have a lot of diamonds. The next thing we do need to make, though, is the energetic infuser. I guess I could just search for that. Which is right here. It is made with a machine frame, two redstone transmission coils, two copper gears, a redstone reception coil, and a lead gear. So this would be silver and redstone. Two of these. Then we need eight copper. We need a gold and a redstone. 
two redstone. And then we need four lead, which we don't have. Let's go grab that. Where is this skeleton hanging out that he's not dying? Hey, you. Thanks. We need to go process some lead. Of which we have a decent amount of now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So we can continue processing things while the lead's cooking up. Start getting lead. And we needed four pieces of lead. And then we needed tin, right? So I'm going to go ahead and throw the tin in here as well. Which I think is going to mix with something, actually. Yeah. Mixes with the copper to make bronze. Which is fine. We've got plenty of copper. Not a huge deal. Okay. That should definitely be enough. Turn that off. Head upstairs, and then we can finish up the energetic infuser, and then charge up our flex bore and give it a little, a little go. Okay, so then lead gear, and the machine frame is iron, glass, tin. Boom. Energetic infuser. Now let's go plug this bad boy in. See how much power we've made. I mean, it's power. It exists. And now it's going to go ahead and charge up from there. We plop our flux bore in there and it will start charging. I'm not sure. See, okay. The flux bore, the hardened one, only mines either one by one or one by two, which is better than one by one, but it's still not quite where we want to be. So we're going to want to get more diamonds and more gold to make electrum from in order to upgrade it the way we want to. But this was quite the accomplishment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of mining off stream just so we don't have to watch all of it like we did most of this episode was me just mining. Um, but I'll be back next Friday. I hope you all have spectacular days. And don't forget to hit up my other social medias or my Twitch, also at Serena Love Zebras. And I will see you all next time. Bye.